Welcome back. I am so excited. We haven't visited with Francine Brokaw, our entertainment correspondent in a while, and she is back with all kinds of things that I can't even say. So I'm just going to bring her in and say, Francine, thank you for coming. What are we talking about today? We are talking about San Francisco Square. Now try and say that 10 times fast. You can't. It's San Francisco Square. square. I got that the square part, no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a hard thing. I it took me a few times to get to get it. But um, you know, Walt Disney once famously said, Disneyland will never be complete. Uh, it will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. And boy, was he right. <laughs> this, you know, Disney California Adventure at Disneyland has the Pacific Wharf area, and that is completely being redone. It is a the, the movie, a 19, uh, 20, excuse me, 2014 movie, uh, Big Hero 6. Uh, was so popular that they're just changing they changed this entire wharf into that movie which is takes place in San Francisco so it's a combination of Tokyo and San Francisco and uh the whole thing is just amazing um the the big there's a big 54 foot bridge that welcomes everybody into the new, I call it a land. It may be there. I don't know if they're going to be calling it a land, but I think it is a land in its own. It's it's to walk through. It's just like walking through parts of the movie. So if you're familiar with the movie, uh, you know what I'm talking about. They have uh, koi fish wind turbines in the movie, and they have them in San Francisco Square. So uh, they have just really brought the movie to the guests at Disneyland. They're so for those of us who don't recognize the title, give it to us again so we can go stream it and watch it before we go. Big Hero 6. Okay. And uh, it's it's adorable. It's available on Blu-ray, DVD, digital. You can find it anywhere. And it takes, uh, I mean, viewers have just loved the main, one of the main characters, which is Baymax. He's an inflatable computerized robot. And they have now a sipper with Baymax. Isn't that he adorable? A, that's a sippy cup? That's a sipper. Yes, you can open that. Your drink's in. Wow, that's a giant drink. And it's kind of buzzing. It buzzes. So uh, it's, <laughs> it's just adorable. People are just lining up. They just want that so much. That's adorable. So he's, he's uh, one, and he's going to be available for meet and greets. So the first time Baymax is going to be available for meet and greets, and he's huge. I saw him. He's huge, but he does talk. So it's it's a, it's fun to interact with him. Um, another thing they've got going on throughout there is the Japanese uh, band J-pop. That their music is going to be funneled through there because this is all Asian inspired, mm -hmm. and which. Brings me to the next part, their food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they have redone so much. Uh, the chefs at Disneyland are just amazing. I, they are fabulous. I had, as this called, I have a list here because there's so many new, new foods. Honey lemonade, which I had to have two of. It's so refreshing. It's got minute, no sugar minute made lemonade. It's got these little popping spheres in there that they're just little balls. And when you have them in your mouth, they pop with juice. So it's like boba, but it's yes, juice. Yes, juice, exactly. And oh, uh, the other thing I had two of, and I hope Disneyland doesn't get mad at me because I had two of these, soba noodle salad. Gosh, part tangy, sweet. I mean, the, the whole thing is all in there. And, um, you know, they, they have, I mean, obviously desserts. They have this Baymax macaron. But instead of just a regular macaron, it inside has hazelnut and chocolate cream. So there's a filling in there that I haven't had in a in a macaron before. So it was so good. I love I love that the food is what sticks with you because that's what sticks with all of us. Well, you know, and, and they have their sandwiches and soups and tacos and new kinds of chips. Uh, they they they've 
added, they've infused everything with a little Asian flair. So even if you have um, sweet corn, there's a little Asian flair to it. So that that's what's, I, th I thought it was very ingenious. They have kids meals, they have alcohol and non-alcoholic beverages. So anybody can take advantage of that. And there's something I've never heard of as a Japanese inspired cheesecake. Oh. Have you heard of that? It's, 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 it's a little round cheesecake they give, they sell. It's, uh, to me, it's, it's not the, the, the denseness of the cheesecake that we know. It's more like a sponge cake or, you know, an angel food cake, cake combination. It's got tart cherry sauce and little tart cherries. And it's not the super, super sweet that we're used to. So this is really a, a good treat. I really like it. And merchandise. We're talking Disney. So you got yeah. merchandise. Besides Baymax here. Okay. But he's going to be the, the prime go get for everybody. They have four different um, medallions. And I don't know if you can see that. Let me get the This is the one with Baymax. Okay. Yeah, well. And then they have the bridge I was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the logo for San Francisco Square. And they have this. And I really, I have to go back and watch the movie because I don't know. It's got flowers in it. I don't know what it represents. Okay. So Baymax and uh, Big Hero Six people can let us know what that represents. But then they have t-shirts for adults, for children, and for dogs. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's for the little furry kids, dogs, yes. Uh, they have so many different things that people like. Now, I, I did ask them if they're going to have the ears because everybody loves the ears. Yeah. Currently, they do have Baymax ears in Disneyland. But as far as San Francisco Square, they don't have them yet, but they are going to take my advice and hopefully come out with some very soon. Fabulous. I'm sure you're the first, but there will be others asking for them along the way. I can't believe how popular the ears are. I mean, people have 30, 40 ears in their collection and they just love it. I mean, you, when you go to the parks, you'll see people wearing them. That's just the way it is. You get into the Disney spirit that way. That's great. So San Francisco Square. Can you can you say it place. yet? <laughs> San Francisco Square. So when is it open? August 31st was the opening for everybody. So it is now open. Open and available. <laughs> so for our yeah. viewers to run, run, don't walk. And this is one of those really unique and special only in Southern California. So this is one of the things that we should actually be paying attention to. Yeah, it's a completely new experience for Disney California Adventure. It it really adds an extra little oomph to it, I, I think. Well, for all of our viewers who have season passes, have been going forever and ever, I know it's already on their radar, but just an extra push and, oh, by the way, pre-selected menu items for you to look for while you're there. Francine, thank you so much for always bringing us the latest and the greatest. My and pleasure. we'll make sure it's not so long between visits going forward. Thank you. And to our viewers, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>